happened since my first studio vlog, the biggest two things being that I got a printer and a cutting machine. So check out those videos if you wanna see an unboxing and a review and all of that, I will link them in the description of this video. But in this video, we are finally doing the thing. We are making memo pads from start to finish in this vlog. So if you wanna follow along as a DIY, I got you. And if you wanna follow along from my first studio vlog and follow my journey of opening an Etsy shop, I got you too. Also, hello, my name is Afra. It is so nice to meet you if you're new to my channel. Welcome, hello. Okay, so we're actually literally doing a sit down video and I thought that I'd do this kind of like podcast style where usually I like do a voiceover, but I thought I'd do my voiceover like in camera. So I'm actually sitting down on the floor. I have my laptop here, I'm editing my video and, and we're gonna do a walkthrough of this DIY together. Okay, so here's what we're gonna need to make memo pads, let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is paper, of course. So it can be any kind of paper and I'll get into that in the next section of this video. And to hold it all together, we're gonna need some glue. I am using book glue. However, I've seen other DIYs on YouTube where they just use like Elmer's normal glue, like the back to school kind of glue, like that's totally fine. To apply the glue evenly, you're gonna need a paintbrush. A very small one would be good and I'm using an old paintbrush I already had in the house. Binder clips. This is to hold the memo pad together when we glue, but I'll provide alternatives when we get to that step. And here's some optional supplies, cardboard or card stock to protect the memo pad pages from being dented from the binder clips. And you'll see how that works later in this video. And a printer if you wanna design or make your own prints or customize your memo pads, you're gonna need to print that out. And the last optional item is a cutting machine, but household scissors can easily be used as an alternative. Okay, let's talk about how we want our memo pads to look like. So in my first studio vlog, you saw a draft of how my designs look like, and it's been about a month now, so a lot has changed, and here are the updated designs, and I'm really excited about it. Also, as a DIY project, there's really no need to have a design or anything like that. You can literally use like plain paper or scrapbook paper, or even just like construction paper, anything, or like even scraps of paper. Like, honestly, you can even mix those up. Like any paper you want can become a memo pad. You can just make this how you want it to look like. I personally wanted to do a design because I do want to open an Etsy shop with these. All right, so the next step is to cut your paper into little squares to make your memo pad sheets. Memo pads are typically like three to four inches, so I kept mine right at the middle at three and a half because I couldn't decide. I'm using my Cameo machine to cut because I am not the most precise person, so using scissors would be just not, it just wouldn't work for me. But that's not to say that you can't, it's definitely a lot more cost effective and a better alternative if you are doing this like as a one-time thing and a cutting machine you know those little slicers that works too so either one of these options work i personally use a silhouette cameo board Okay, now let's get to stacking. Stacking for some reason took me a very long time, like a lot longer than I expected. It's actually really hard to get your memo pads perfectly straight and aligned. I personally think the top of the memo pad doesn't have to be perfect if like your pages aren't aligned because you're gonna end up gluing that top portion. So it'll end up smoothing out with the glue and all that and you know, you can mess with it. So I would emphasize having it very aligned on the sides and the bottom. Okay, so let's get to gluing. So there's many ways to go about this, but the point is that you want your pages, your memo pad, to be as straight as possible while you glue. So you can do this in many ways. So first, which is what I'm doing, is you can use binder clips and some cardboard to sandwich it, and then you take the binder clips, fold it together, so that way it is straight, it is held on tight, and you can start gluing. So other alternatives I saw on YouTube were using a stack of heavy books, and then you can just kind of paint on the bottom Bottom, or you can get someone to hold the stack of papers like this and just wait till it dries, right? Yeah, 
I don't know why I said that. Anyways, okay, so let's get to the binder clip method. So I actually took this cardboard from a backing off of a notepad that I got from Amazon. So yeah, I just kind of cut it in half so I can sandwich the notepad together. And this is really just to prevent dents from the binder clips that we're gonna clip on. Again, you don't have to do this. You could easily tear off like the first couple pages and the dents won't be there. Or if it doesn't bother you, you can just keep the dents on. I am just doing this because again, I wanna open the Etsy shop so I wanna make sure the quality is perfect and I don't wanna sell you guys like dent pages. Okay, we are here, the actual gluing. So this actually took me a couple tries to get it right. Luckily, I had a lot of mess up memo pad pages, so I had a lot of practice doing this. So the goal here is to have enough glue where your pages stick together, but not so much glue where your pages are stuck together. So honestly, one to two thin coats is perfectly fine. I recommend letting it dry overnight just to see how it is before you put on more glue. So that usually works out for me. And the best thing you can do is add extra pages on so you can do a test tear. Okay, so I know I said that glue was like the last step, but this kind of leads me to this like half step, which is the first tear. So this is to test your quality of the memo pad and you just wanna like do that first tear, get that fresh page, you know, there's probably glue all over your first page anyway. So, so yeah, I would actually recommend adding an extra page if you're like counting the pages that you want in each memo pad, just so you could do that test tear and you wanna make sure the tear is smooth it's beautiful and it's to your liking and with that we are officially done we made our very own memo pads this diy is finished that has to be like the easiest diy ever right which honestly i'm very proud of like oh my gosh i can't believe this is mine and you saw in this video that i had multiple colors going on so here is a montage of all the memo pads i made in this video If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, it would mean so much if you subscribe to my channel. Like seriously, every time I get a subscriber notification on YouTube, I just like look at my phone and I'm like, thank you and like that person's username because it seriously means that much to me. So yeah, please subscribe to my channel. There's gonna be plenty more studio vlogs and other DIYs to come. So yeah, okay. Until next time, stay healthy and happy and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.